Hey guys, welcome back. This is another redstone tutorial video. Um, I'm going to cover a couple things today. Because in almost all of my redstone devices, um, I've got several things that I use all the time. And most people do. Like RS NOR latches, I use T flip flops a lot, even though you don't see any here. Um, pulse limiters, I use frequently. Or, I know people use them frequently. I mean, it depends on what you're building, really. But, um, anyway, so I'm going to go over those three. And I did find a, t a uh, pulse limiter that works any direction. Um, this it has no pistons in it, so it's actually much less uh, resource heavy, since you don't need slime balls for the um, sticky pistons. So, this is another partial reason for me um, putting out this episode. Uh, the signal comes in here, powers this block, and then it turns off this signal, uh, because this powers this block, which sends a signal out there. And um, this one turns off, and this turns on within a fraction of a second. So the time between this one turning off and this one turning on allows for a very short pulse to go through. So you can... it It's not going to take power from there? Oh, it's because it's... Gotcha. So see, it makes one quick pulse. But yeah, so that's that works much better, and you can do it uh, north and south as well. It works just fine that way too. So you can see the piston over on the left. Makes a pulse. Alright. So now that that's done, okay, let's go over RS NOR latches first, because they're like the most important. <laughs> We've got... RS NOR latches are pretty simple. You can build them like that. You can build them like... This, um, you know, it's it's pretty simple. Um, a lot of most of them are variations on this design, like the one that I like to use because it's one wide. Um, rah. that goes there. We have another block here. That goes there. That goes there. There, and there, and that's a T flip or er, RS NOR latch. So you can just power one side, and it flips the it flips the latch. And then you can just pull from here or from um, over here, you know. So it, it works pretty well for um, a lot of things because it's it's essentially storing information. You can store one bit of information in an RS NOR latch, meaning that you can store a one or a zero. One being it's on, zero being it's off. So wherever you're pulling your, you can pull info, you can pull output from both sides, um, but from one input, it's either a one. Like, over here, it's a, it's a 1, and then you flip it, and it becomes a 0. So, it's it's how you store information quickly. If you only need one piece to store information in whatever it is that you're building, then that's what you would use this for. If you need to store a lot more information, you'd use something like this, because it's much more efficient. Um, or space efficient, at least. Um, yeah, so this this is personally my favorite uh, type of RS NOR latch, because it is one block wide which allows you to line them up, um, which you can't do with something like this. I, I think this is probably the smallest you'll get, too. I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't think I am. Um, let's, let's test it out and see if I can't make this smaller. Um, yeah, no, I can't make I, I was going to try something, but then I realized it doesn't work because I thought there would be an empty space under here, but this block would be there, so... Anyway, okay, so that's that. T flip flops. Now, excuse me while I search the internet for how to do it without pistons, because I don't remember, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys. This is a T flip flop without pistons. It's uh, incredibly not compact, very large, and rather inefficient, if you ask me. Um. I built it off camera just because I had to keep referencing the thing, and I didn't want to have you guys seeing that. Um, obviously, not so useful as it is. You know, you see, I press the button, and that piston toggles. You can see it better down here. So it works, but obviously it's, it's not the best thing to do. So instead, we're going to make one with pistons. Which is much less complicated. And there you go. This does the same thing as that. You just take the output, 
from either of these two, um, or, I'm sorry, the input goes into one of these two. Um, so like this button here works just fine. And then you take the output from the block with the torch underneath it. Because the torch powers this block when it's over it. And for some reason, I think it's a bug, um, when you've got these torches on top of pistons like this, if you power them at the same time, the one that's off will then be activated, and the one that's on will be deactivated. I really don't know why. It's the basis for the lighting system that I uh, got from CNB Minecraft, who is fantastic. You should go check him out. I'm sure I've said that I'd link to his page in the past, but I haven't. So just CNB, the letters like cow and... Um, why can't I think of any not dirty words that start with N? Um, never. And, like, be like boy. Uh, just CNB Minecraft. Uh, he's got fantastic stuff on his channel. He's great. I love him. He's awesome. Okay, um, so that's that. And that. And then to pulse limiters. Um, the pulse limiter that I've been using, um, or that... I showed you the pulse limiter that I, I had been using before, and that one goes like this. And oops. And this is the pulse limiter. It's pretty small. Um, works fine. Makes a nice pulse. Um, however, the one that I just recently discovered, which was... You've got... Um, block here block here, repeater between them set to 3, then torch here, block there, block on top of the torch, and like that. And this will make a pulse, um, but it's you have to invert it, or else, like, if you don't want it on all the time, this will make a pulse, um, actually, can it be at 2? Can it be at 1? Okay, if you're, um, I guess it does work at 1. Did I do this one at 1? I did that one at 3. I'm assuming that if you invert it, you have to um, add time to it. Because, like, okay, now it's inverted. Yeah, see, when it's inverted like that, you have to add a, a third one, because otherwise the... Um, I think it's just the difference between... Because adding this torch here adds a delay before it gets to here, so it may just be that small time delay that it messes up. But yeah, so this is another... Um, pulse limiter and uh, that just it just serves to make pulses short so you put in a pulse no matter how long it is even if it's like I don't have a button on me oh, I'll have to use this even if it's a constant I mean I don't have a lever on me so I have to use a torch even if it's a constant source power then it still just makes a short pulse okay so I'm gonna go over them again uh, RSNR latches you can toggle them so you've got this side if you put input to it it gives you it'll flip the latch when this one's on, and this side will flip the latch if this one's on. So putting power to this side flips the latch. Um, all right, and then T flip-flops just allow you to turn a button into a lever, essentially, so that when you press the button, the output toggles. It is it is the falling edge um, when the power disappears, on this one at least, that the signal transfers. This one is the rising edge. It's when you give power, it flips. Um, I suppose if you took this off. Nope, nope, doesn't work. <laughs> don't do that, guys. That's not a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, don't use this. I highly suggest you use this. They're not sticky pistons. They're regular pistons. It's not that expensive. Just do this one. Um, pulse limiters. I like this one more because you can do it in either direction. But this one's much smaller. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, much more simple. So, I like that one. Oops, I fell. Um, so, yeah, uh, I also want to use this video as a little update for this one. Um, this The only reason this is up a block is because I needed it to be level with this. I could have moved it out one, but, eh. And besides, I needed to invert it anyway, so I'd, if I raise it up one, then it just supplies power down, which works just fine for me. Um, so, this thing still works perfectly fine. And, uh, yeah. So that was my tutorial for RSNR latches, T flip flops, and pulse limiters. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I'd be glad to make another video, help you out if something doesn't make any sense or whatever. Um, 
So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.